hi guys welcome back again in power learning channel so today we are here with the new video so i will explain you today this panel and we will review about this panel so this is ats panel which is installed in our site this is a standby site and today we will review all the accessories about this panel so as you see this is intelli ats standard com app controller okay so all these accessories i will explain you one by one so stay with me and just press the like button because you are getting to know something new information so before going to video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel so we will discuss today all and in all information in this video so you will enjoy and you will learn something new this is my promise with you so as you see here we have intelli ats in standard controller so let's get started so guys here we have these four push buttons here we have five push button and here we have these two push button so what are the function of these push buttons i will tell you these are two for scrolling up and down this is for page and this is for enter here we have two mode selection button this is our mode manual mode auto mode so you can select this mode by pressing this two button here we have start button stop button and fault reset to want to start manually generator press this button and press this if you want to stop is this it will be make a stop generator after that here we have sakiko this is we have load this is we have generator okay this is manual push button to turning on mains breaker and this is for manual push button for turning on generator breaker okay we have two indication these two indication showing the mains supply now the main supply is on and there is no alarm and generator is completely off so there is no indication this is okay. our emergency stop push button and this is reset push button here we have our multimeter from where we see our uh, all the parameters as you see now this is showing 224 volt and here we have our load indication on our load because now this is on load so further i will show you from inside from inside so here is the inside look and here we have a couple of 13 number of fuses okay after that we have one relay rgs rkm and rkg okay rgs is remote generator start rkm relay for mains contactor and rkg relay for generator contactor okay and these are our connection this is one is 220 volt and other is dry contact for remote start this is remote okay. start contact. here we have our battery charger and this is our battery so okay. after that this three we have our load bus bars and these are the three cts to measuring current and, here and we have we our have load cable and here this one this contactor is for main supply for transformer supply and this one is for generator supply so this is having mains power and this cable is for generator okay after that we have common neutral bus bar here once uh, the three neutral cable are connected here one for generator one for mains and one for load okay earthing cable is connected here and here we have our three indication lamp connection this is our meter connection on meter connection we have neutral v1 v2 v3 okay three phases and neutral and here we have 220 volt supply auxiliary supply for the meter and here we have three cts connection here total six wire from the three cts as you see 44 43 okay here we have you see 44 43 okay further we have here two indication as i show you from the front panel and here first we have generator voltage neutral line 1 line 2 line 3 which is coming from these three fuses and after that mains voltage which is also coming from here this three fuses and these are the binary inputs binary inputs are digital inputs for signaling once the breaker is closed it will show us breaker is closed these two are for breaker close okay and the third binary input for the remote signal on and off okay here we have binary outputs binary outputs are like digital outputs these two are controlling our uh, two contactor here okay these two relay rkm rkg as you see now now the rkm is on energized it is taking power from here and this is power supply for the meter so this is all for today okay i hope you like this video so kindly like share and subscribe my channel so we'll see you in the next video till that bye bye assalam alaikum